Good Tuesday morning, folks. I'm News 18 meteorologist Cameron Hopman with today's edition of your weather vlog. I may be overdoing it a bit with the winter jacket inside the studio, but altogether it has been downright frigid already this morning. Seeing temperatures here at the station fall as low as 5 degrees. Other parts of the viewing area as low as 1 degree. Now just before 10 a.m., we're back up to around 15 here at the station. Now winds are getting up to around 10 to 15 miles per hour over the last hour or so, meaning those wind chills are likely to stay in the single digits throughout the morning, even into the afternoon. The temperature of 24 degrees, which is what we're expecting for a high temperature later today, would almost be tolerable if it wasn't for the winds that we're expecting as well. High winds in excess of 25, possibly as high as 30 miles per hour will keep those wind chills in the single digits throughout your entire Tuesday. The next time we're looking at wind chills above 9 degrees will likely occur probably overnight tonight into tomorrow morning once those winds really begin to calm down. But altogether still, very frigid conditions out there. It's 15 degrees right now. We're headed for 24 later today. Overnight lows will fall back down to around 11 degrees. A little bit of an idea as far as wind chills go over the next few hours. We're looking at temperatures right around 24 degrees by 3 p.m. Wind chills at that time, right around 6 degrees. It'll fall to around 5 degrees at 5 p.m. when temperatures Actual air temperatures fall back down to around 22. We'll hit 16 degrees as an air temperature by 10 p.m. Wind chills at that time still right around a degree. And we could be seeing overnight uh, wind chills at times below zero. Winds are still expected to get to between 5 to possibly as high as 15 miles per hour overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Good news is that by tomorrow, those winds calm down at least a little bit. We warm up a little bit. Still dealing with wind chills, likely, though, just above 10 degrees throughout your Wednesday. As far as Tuesday night goes, 11 degrees, your overnight low temperature. Still expecting winds near 15 degrees. Once again, now temperatures will only top out at 25 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. We're even expecting a very slim chance of possibly a few isolated snow flurries for our northern counties. Now, it will be very dry here at the surface, and even though we are expecting some moisture aloft, Really not expecting too much of it. So a couple isolated flurries, maybe a dusting at most for our northern counties on Wednesday afternoon. That'll pass pretty quickly and will clear out by Thursday. With the clear conditions, the Wednesday night and the Thursday morning overnight lows are expected to fall down to zero degrees. Yes, we'll bottom out at zero here in West Lafayette. The Wednesday night and the Thursday morning, our northern counties will easily be below zero. We're looking at wind chills that night likely as low as negative five or even less by Thursday as you head out the door. Now we only warm up to around 16 degrees on Thursday with mainly sunny skies as high pressure builds in, really dominates much of the Midwest. We're looking at 9 degrees, your overnight low Thursday night and the Friday before our next chance of snow will arrive late Friday evening into Saturday morning. Now what we're looking at as far as this system goes, temperatures will actually get up above the freezing mark by Friday afternoon. We'll hit 32 degrees. Thereafter, temperatures will actually stay pretty stable. That means overnight lows right around 31 degrees. We only warm up to around 33 degrees on Saturday. Well, that afternoon, or I shouldn't say afternoon, that high temperature on Saturday will likely occur during the early morning hours. Once that cold front passes, that freeze line will begin to sink southward. Temperatures will also begin to gradually fall as Saturday progresses. And that freezing rain chance Friday night into Saturday will likely turn into some light snowfall or even accumulating snowfall for Saturday afternoon. We'll fall back down to around 14 degrees Saturday night into Sunday morning before only warming up to 15 degrees on Sunday. We'll see mostly cloudy skies that day before bottoming out at 4 degrees Sunday night into Monday. We'll hit a high temperature to wrap up your extended forecast of 19 degrees as you kick off the next work week. That's pretty much all I had today. If you have any questions about this forecast, feel free to email Chad Amber and I at weatherteam18 at WLFI.com. My personal email address is Cameron.Hotman at WLFI.com. You can find us on Twitter at the handle at weatherteam18. Find me on Facebook, Cameron Hotman Meteorologist. And remember to like the News 18 This Morning Facebook page as well. Until tomorrow, folks, I'm News 18 Meteorologist Cameron Hotman signing off.